Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, let's talk about false alerts on your radar detector and specifically false laser alerts. Why might your radar detector sometimes false alert to laser even if there's no police laser around? Well, it turns out there's a number of sources of infrared light around us other than, well, police laser guns that shoot laser, or well, that shoot and transmit infrared light. Um, now, the thing about laser is if your countermeasures go off, you need to pretty much be on the brakes instantly. Uh, in fact, I actually got shot with laser earlier today driving across town and you'll see that's exactly what I did. Slow down, uh, disable the jammers, and allow them to get a speed reading, but it's one of those things where you need to respond instantly. Now, usually when your countermeasures go off, especially if you've got something with really good filtering, uh, it's going to be a legitimate alert. However, there are some times where your uh, detectors will false alert and they're detecting something other than a police laser gun. What are some of the most common sources of false laser alerts that you'll see on your radar detector or even on your laser jammers? Uh, well, one of the most common ones that you'll see, believe it or not, and it's something I see really commonly with uh, people running windshield mount radar detectors, is your phone. Uh, the phones at the top, a lot of times they have these special transmitters that can tell when you've got the phone put up to your head uh, and then you take your phone away and the screen turns back on. If you've got it here, the screens turn off. So there's different sensors and whatnot. Um, if you have your phone mounted on the windshield and the radar detector is up above it and kind of behind it, uh, sometimes it can actually pick up the, uh, the IR transmissions coming out of here and cause false alerts on your radar detector. I've even seen uh, playing around at home, I've seen my TV <laughs> cause false alerts on my radar detector. Um, I know that's not something that you'd see on the road, but again, things that transmit IR can actually cause false alerts on your detector. Now, other things that you'll see on the road, not TVs, uh, things like a lot of cars that have laser-based collision avoidance systems. You know, a lot of cars, as we know, have like K-band uh, blind spot monitoring systems, right? Well, there's also laser-based collision avoidance system, things like uh, smart cruise control or automatic braking, things like that. Uh, Mazdas, Infinities, Volvos, uh, these are pretty common culprits of cars that can uh, cause false laser alerts on your detector. Interference detection only. Poly scan behind. Some cars that have aftermarket HID headlights, uh, they can cause false alerts. I've seen them on uh, my Blinder HP905 used to false to uh, certain HIDs. Um, certain detectors, depending on the degree of filtering that they have, you know, different detectors have different degrees of both sensitivity and filtering. So this will vary from one detector to another, but some detectors may false to uh, HID headlights, especially some of the aftermarket ones. Uh, things like neon signs that you'll see um, in storefronts, those can cause false laser alerts. Believe it or not, even the sunlight sometimes, especially if it's maybe flickering through the trees just right, those can also cause false alerts on your detector. And so there's a variety of different sources that may cause your detector to false alert to laser. And so if you're seeing any alerts, especially falses on your detector, um, those are just some things to keep an eye out for. Now, me personally, I'm not too concerned with laser detection on the radar detector. I've talked about it in other videos of how radar detectors are really not a great tool to defend against laser. Uh, that's really what laser jammers are for. And um, if you're getting a lot of false alerts, you can always consider maybe take a look at different sources where your phone is mounted um, worst case scenario if you're getting a lot you could always turn off laser detection on your radar detector um, ideally you don't have to do that of course but that could be an option I do that a lot of times anyways just because I'm more reliant on my laser jammers to actually protect me you know um, but sometimes I'll run laser just to see like which one picks it up you know things like that but uh, anyways as far as uh, laser protection yes get jammers but when it comes to uh, false alerts these are some of the most common sources that you may encounter out on the road <coughs> Interference detection only. True speed ass behind. <laughs> <laughs> If you guys have noticed something that I haven't covered in this video, there's others, of course, as well, too, but these are just kind of some of the most common ones. Uh, let me know what you've noticed as far as what's been causing false laser alerts on your detector. There's certain things I've seen, like certain detectors, the uh, power cabling, if it doesn't have the right shielding, sometimes you hit the accelerator, and that can actually cause false laser alerts on your detector. So there are some other things, too, but those are kind of some of the more rare ones, but these are just kind of some of the main ones that a lot of people may experience. Uh, anyways, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. Other than that, I hope this has been helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.